Hi Aquarius, I hope you're all really well. This is your October 2016 reading. Right, I don't usually do it this way. Um, usually by the time I start the camera rolling, I've already done the shuffling. Um, I have already run them through incense, run them through the smoke. They're cleared after every reading. But I thought because I've sort of changed locations and moved upstairs to my bedroom and the camera settings a bit, I don't know. I just thought I'd uh, show you show you the shuffling this month which is which is a bit rubbish sometimes <laughs> it's thoroughly done but um so and I, i'm not very good at talking as well while i'm doing it but i'll try get the housekeeping out of the way please check out your rising sign and your moon sign because this is just a general reading um so if it doesn't resonate with you for this month which sometimes they don't check out the rising sign or if it or even if it does resonate you want some extra messages uh, do it that way if you would like a private reading from me please click on the link in the corner which takes you through to the website different prices, different kinds of readings up there for you to choose from so get yourself booked in, I'd love to do one for you and for a healing and clearing session with me uh, on Skype um, $25 for around half an hour it usually ends up longer with me yapping away um, on awakening symptoms uh, twin flames coping with the ascension process an angel card pulled as well and as i say if you're feeling any blocks or frustrations then that's a good thing to do especially around the new moon around now as well so that's um you need to email me that's info at huskylight.com so let's start to cut that out of the way let's draw some cards let's see what we've got for october aquarius oh that one just completely jumped out at me. So we'll have that one. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Right, I can see this is quite specific to some of you, but it's coming through as I'm, I'm shuffling cards. I can see somebody dropping out the front door. I can see, and I don't know if this this is an argument or something. It probably is, but I can see somebody just literally having an argument and flying out the front door and slamming the front door behind them. This might not be you. This might be somebody else that you've argued with. This could be like a teenager in your family um a partner um i don't feel like it's a, a close friend or anything i don't think they do that um it's like a family member or a partner probably one of the kids but it's just this argument and a big slamming in the door again this is uh you know somebody really stropping off on on something getting mad about something not agreeing with something not for everybody very specific to some of you i don't ever read the cards in the reverse position uh my guys and angels will tell me to read it in the reverse position or they will bring out a negative card for me to read um they sort of know know my style and how how i do readings they're used to it by now so let me straighten out these cards and let's get on and see what we've got for this month right my my cards are looking very mysterious it's dark outside and raining and looking very mystical in here um let's move this one out of the way for a moment let's turn the knight of pentacles around um some of you might be feeling a little bit sluggy sluggish tired um not feeling like you want to do a lot at the moment for others of you this is just you working hard knowing that you will get things done in the right almost in divine timing you're not rushing anything you are not speeding up with anything at this time there may be that we've got the chariot in the conscious position so there may be thoughts that you need to um it's some of you have got a deadline and you feel like you've got all the time in the world before this deadline is due so you haven't quite i don't know if this is maybe schoolwork, university work or or 
a, a project at work or a project at home you're wanting to do the job properly so you're not rushing it for some of you because there is a deadline there you're being a little bit slow it's like I've got all the time in the world to do it I'll just sit down and have another coffee I don't need to <laughs> need to do it actually you do for some of you if you're not careful you're going to miss a deadline you do need to speed it up a little bit for others of you it's this is a case of you you're working hard and wanting to get something right wanting to get the job done properly being organized about it making steady progress going forward this could be a relationship that you're working on this could be in your job your family life whatever this is a situation or with a person just where you're working steadily towards things you're being very practical you're being very down to earth um about your life and the way things and the way things are um within your life you haven't got really you don't feel like you've got much time for dreaming or castles in the air or um it's just all about slow steady progress with some of you this could be because of mercury retrograde so it, you could have felt a little bit stagnated a little bit stuck this will change because we are fully out of mercury retrograde uh, the 5th or 6th of October so definitely by the end of the first week uh, things start to move a lot lot faster um, as I say if you've got a deadline that you're working to and you feel like you've got all the time in the world be careful some of you may miss that deadline I feel or some of you may end up in a panic right at the last minute because things seem to have speeded up more so be aware of that we've got a crossing card of the Knight of Cups those of the, you that are working steadily and progressively in something, I feel like this Knight of Cups is a person and this is the challenge card. They, It's like they've come in and they're trying to upset the apple cart somehow. They are... The Knight of Cups are very emotional. They're very fast. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody sweeping you off your feet suddenly coming into your life a relationship suddenly coming into your life where you thought that your life was steady and not changing much and everything was humdrum suddenly somebody's going to come in and stir things up um hopefully in a positive way for most of you for others of you though i feel like they are this person could be a challenge to you probably a water sign cancer scorpio pisces um they are they're they're impulsive they're emotional they're um it's an opt they're an optimistic person or that it's like they're trying to rush you into something for some they may be right that are they trying to rush you into a decision are they trying to rush you into a relationship or into um for some of you i feel like they're Oh gosh, put the the they're, they're trying to get something from you or push something. They could even be trying to push your buttons somehow. Um, but they're there to. For some of you, they're there to upset the apple cart to try and make you speed you up, make you go faster, make you make make a decision on something. And for those of you who are being the knight of pentacles in making a decision it's because you don't want anything to go wrong you don't want you're trying to see set everything from every angle you're trying to be precise about things orderly about things it's like this person is is upsetting that equilibrium that you've got which is is quite frustrating for you so be aware of that person if they're in your life or coming into your life they're either going to come in in a very, very positive way, um, i.e. it's a new relationship or something which is just going to completely change things on their head, or it's they, they are coming in as that challenge of they're, they're trying to speed you up or trying to get a decision of some sort out of you and you're not, you're not wanting to, to go fast with things. You want to make sure all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, 
that things are going to be the way that you want them to be. So just be, uh, that's, be aware of that. We've got the judgment card just in the the past position. Um, I think with this, there's there's been a judgment of some sort made. This is a very karmic card as well. It's not for you to make judgments. The universe does that. The universe will sort things out like that. Um, but it's a positive card. It's, it's like a very healing card. Justice has been made. There has been a balance come to. A, a balance made within your life. Um, almost, almost a rebirth of something this is you getting maybe this is can I, I want to I need to go back to to this a minute because this is specific to some of you be careful of some of you are trying to be regimental about something maybe you're on a diet maybe you're trying to give up drink or something it's like this person could be detrimental to your progress if if you're not careful it's like a, they're almost like a universal test um for some of you and you've been building towards something you're building towards something as i say it's steady steady progress that has been made and it may be that things have been stuck and frustrated and everything but because of the because of the hard work you're putting into something, wonderful things are starting to happen and starting to come through with that judgment card. It's like pos positive universal energies coming through from you. If you've had court cases or paperwork to sort out, it's come out in your favour probably the end of September or around even around now, but lately. Um, it's success. It's good things coming around for you. New changes and new developments as well i think you've dealt with a lot of things recently i think you've got a lot of things in order um you've filled out paperwork you've got organized you've done things to make your life flow easier uh, maybe doing things or that you've put off in the past that you've just really got knuckled down to you've really used mercury retrograde to replan reassess redo relook at um, and now you're steadily moving forward now because we're out of mercury retrograde in a week's time there is an awareness of things speeding up again beware of deadlines because it's like time will come upon you and you won't even realize it that suddenly it's there there's a definite speeding up of events or situations things in your life coming to a head this is travel some of you are thinking of traveling and again for some of you you've planned this very well and somebody might be just trying to speed things along or upset things don't go to don't speed in a car this month or don't be in a car with anyone speeding um you could get pulled over by the police or something something like that just be just be just be aware of something like that also make sure that your car is winter ready especially if wherever you are in the world it's starting to get colder make sure it's had all its checks or anything for some of you this is you are aware or you're planning um going on some sort of trip but also you i think are aware because of the knight of pentacles that you are becoming in more control of your life things are under control, things are more balanced than they were before, you are feeling more self-confident within yourself, feeling like that you finally got a handle on things, that you finally, um, yeah, got things, getting things under control, you're steering the direction of your life, you're aware and know the direction that your life is, is going in. Um, you're putting your willpower, you're putting your control into something, uh, your determination into something, but not rushing, 
not particularly rushing it um, being a whole lot more balanced this is going to lead to success for you regardless of, of this upset if this is a person um, it's something that you will deal with they're not going to rush you they're not going to be able to they're not going to you're going to be able to almost see what's going on and be able to nip it in the bud or stop it um but you're being quite stubborn in that regard this month i think i don't think anyone can can push you further than you're ready to go in whatever situation that they're trying to push you in and you're going to come out successfully with that those of you that have been through a divorce recently there's good news coming through for you things coming out on your side there's a recognition coming through for this organized progress that you're making it's like a pat on the back it's a well it's a well done victory for you some of you are getting your name in the papers this month uh, for something that you've done you've been striving for a cause you've been striving to make to put something right in your life and for some of you that could be very public recognition i.e um um getting your name in the papers or something but there's this and even if it if it's not that it's people around you recognizing that you're doing really well that you are making progress that you are coming through something that you're working hard at something um even if you don't think that you are even if you don't think that you're getting anywhere other people around you can see an improvement in something in within your life they can see the determination within you and that's and you're getting recognition for that even if it's just a hug or you're doing really really well um i think somebody's actually going to say say that to you some of you are expanding a business or getting a promotion expanding a project it's now going to be put in motion it's now going forward again don't worry about any mishaps or delays before because that's coming out successfully there's more stability and balance there with you um and a lot of new ideas coming around for you as well but you have to keep up with it you have to steadily work it's not like you can sit back and and not do anything um it's you you've persisted definitely in something just watch out for this other person trying to knock you knock you off balance somehow and they might not be deliberately trying to knock you off balance um but they seem to have some sort of oh god what's the word they seem to have some sort of in they could have some sort of influence over you that you need to avoid their attempt te their temptation there's some sort of temptation with them um the four of cups you are successful you are being successful you are going down the right road you're going in the right direction you do not have to get caught up in somebody else's pipe dreams don't get bored and don't give up keep working hard the light is at the end of the the tunnel do not um give up on the direction that you're going in with it don't give in to anxieties and difficulties that are appearing especially with this this person these new opportunities coming through as long as you're patient and you are working towards them again just be aware the deadline thing keeps coming into this so be aware of some sort of deadline some of you have got to get paperwork in by a certain date um or something at work needs to be done by a certain date 
and again that does need to be that does need to be done some of you need a some some of you want to rest but you're aware that you have to keep going um in order to get through your whole advice for the for the reading is is the king of swords which is very clar very clarifying very clear headed being the leader of something um or just being more in control of yourself and being again very very the kings are very organized people anyway being very intellectual some of you could be teaching somebody else something and you're teaching them in a slow progressive way could be children that you're teaching some of you are teaching some some within a work situation you are teaching somebody else how to do a job that comes through be careful of sometimes being a little bit overbearing or a little bit bossy there is a very fine line with the the king of swords he he's extremely good extremely intellectual has very strong opinions about things he's very authoritarian as well but he has he usually does it in a fair way but because there's a fine line sometimes he can overstep the mark a little bit maybe get a little bit bossy or overbearing just be aware that that may happen with some of you this might not deliberately not that you'd realize you were doing it but there is that that chance of that that happening this month energies around you people situations around you somebody wants i almost feel like somebody wants to sacrifice something for you they they want to leave their own home and move in with you they want to they're wanting to sacrifice they're they're ready to get for some of you whoever is if this is a new relationship or or it's somebody from the past that comes to light there it's almost like they're ready to give up everything for you and this is completely knocking you off balance you were walk, working towards other things you were working progressively um and they're trying to knock you off balance and they're not doing it deliberately but it's like a really big i feel like this is a really big shock for some of you be very careful of this um it's it's almost like they're saying things that are too good saying things that are too good to be true they're willing to just sacrifice certain things in their life or their job or they're willing to move from their country to your country willing to walk away from their family for you it's something extreme it's almost something extreme here and again this is a water sign this could very well be a pisces um in their moon sign or the rising sign or definitely another another water sign you, you really have to slow them down you really have to get them to think they're not thinking clearly the way you're thinking clearly um and, it, and it, it's a very strange message but that's what's that's what's coming coming through it's an unsettling energy it's something to unsettle you um I wouldn't actually yeah I would advise on slowing this person down getting them to think clearly maybe this is where the authoritarian side of you needs to come out to speak to to calm them down or to this could be one of your kids as well this could even be one of your kids wanting to suddenly move to another country or go and get a job far away or sacrifice their marriage for somebody else or um sacrifice their freedom um for for 
for having a family some sort of they want to, they want to make some sort of extreme change in their life and it's something that you need to help them become balanced in and help them to slow down but it i think for some of you it's really gonna rock you a little bit this is not you at a junction or a crossroads this is not you being extreme about anything this is somebody else being extreme about something there is a calmness that is coming we've got the six of swords which is your fears and doubts as to oh my god how's this how's this month going to go this month is actually going to go really well and if this person isn't coming into your life or isn't in your life um then you haven't got any more you haven't got any real problems you're in control of your life you're very clear about things the six of swords says whatever trauma you do go through this month especially with this other person however they appear within your life it calms down and you go into karma waters and things be, become clearer again and calmer for you there's a sense of peace and there's a sense of harmony and a sense of balance within you some of you are going on a, like a mini cruise this month. Um, again, there is travel. For some of you, this might be traveling more to work. This might be going on vacation. This may be just traveling to see friends, but traveling further than usual or making lot either traveling, making one trip further than usual or making lots of short trips that comes through. It can come out as traveling, and it, it, but it also comes out as a sense of peace and a sense of calm. Um, even internal movement, internal change within you. Less stress, less strain on you, leading to happiness, leading to more happiness by the end of the month. We've got the Nine of Cups at the end of the month. Whether this part, they overreact, is that there's an overreaction with them that needs to calm down, that you need to help calm them down with. Um, there's a lot of good luck with the Nine of Cups coming through for you. It, your steadiness, your balance, your slow determination this month wins out over everything and leads to great happiness. For you, it leads to peace, it leads to harmony, a sense of relief within you, um, good things coming through, lucky things coming through for you, lucky breaks coming through for you with the Nine of Cups. It's one of the best cards in the thing. Financially, it's very lucky. Um, I think things financially could come to you this month that you'd not thought of or they're going to come to you in a way that you'd not not thought of you're expecting it to come in one way it could come in another way for you but it's equally as positive for you things get it things getting happier things getting sweeter in your life um keep up with with this is a great time of determination for you keep up with like i am affirmations and things like that this month and it really moves things along at good steady pace this some Hang on a minute, because they're all talking at once at me. You can all be quiet and do it one at a time. If I want to get messages out, just bear with me a minute. This, this, just this. Whatever you're asking for this month, whatever results you're asking for this month, the answer is yes to it in a positive way. Things working out the way that you want them to. They may not work out in exactly the way you vis uh, visualise them to work out, but they still work out with a positive result at the end of it. So, right, I'm going to stop there before I go on all night. Take care. 
let me know how it's going below let me know who this person is if they're in your life and um, help them to slow down a little bit I think is the main the main message take care and I'll speak to you soon